What's up, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker, my pal. Fish. Fish in the house. We're waiting on our food. We're at Four Rivers. It's Tuesday. Yeah, I'm already sweaty. <laughs> it's warm under this canvas. Look, yeah. I I I'm tell people sweating. all the time, here in Florida, just got out fall here. doesn't start until oh. November at the soonest. Like, October is fourth month of summer. So, it is still very yeah. warm here. Hopefully, we get a little humidity out of the way. But uh, we yeah. jumped out earlier in the week, Taco Tuesday, neither of us got tacos. No, I no. was like, let's do barbecue. Yes, so yes. here we are. Uh, we let's. Got, we got tri-tips coming. We got tri-tip sandwiches. Yeah. They actually brought back my favorite, so I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, let's start with this. Look, I don't know if you've been watching Fish or not. He has been posting, you, you've literally been reading chapters of the script the Bible yeah, exactly. and discussing them yeah, and yeah, yeah. Inter your interpretation of them. Yeah. Uh, now, look, you guys may have caught this before. I am not a religious person. I grew up in a very strict religious Mormon household. Uh, it was very open-minded, which I am thankful to my dad that he was that way. Yeah, yeah. So there was never any taboo of it's, you know, only this way or the highway kind of thing. And for me, it's one of those doors that I closed a long time ago. <clears throat> and it was nothing that, uh, I, to be perfectly honest, I, I guess I've never really felt like I was lacking anything in my life. Like I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky guy. Yeah. And you know. I, but don't it, you kind of feel like the door maybe is a little bit opened up again? Well, so, so yeah. I, I say now, you know, one of the greatest things that you can do in your life is live the way you believe. Yeah, yeah. And there's something very noble and inspirational about that. Uh, you are certainly the best friend I've made in the last 20 years. Um, and you live, you live your life, you live your life a very commendable, honest, good way. And that's probably why I like you so much. You know, you're a man of character. You happen to be a man of faith. That's never been hidden. And uh, here we got tri-tips tri -tips coming. Tri-tips coming. Is that fan working? Or oh, is this other fan? Yeah, we're going to turn them on. I don't know why I'm not right now. Oh. But... Uh, I'm missing my fries. Yeah, I'll get oh. you Hey, thank you so much. These I appreciate awesome. it. They look awesome. Yeah, we got food. Tri-tip. Yeah. Chimichurri sauce. Yeah. They look a little oh, empty, yeah. actually, but not, not they'll, quite like taste, the they'll taste good, <laughs> I'm sure. Like the but I will say that, that you, you mentioned, you know, you know, uh, it's commendable when someone lives out their faith. Right. And I'll just say that it's, it's definitely easier said than done because I'm the last person to judge anybody. I've made so many mistakes in my life. And, um, and I still, you know, and I did, I just did a video, the one that just dropped and, and talked about repentance and confession, because right. that's something I try and live. I screw up all the time. Um, and so, you know, I appreciate what you're saying about me. Um, and, uh, I try and do, I try and, and do my best and live up to what I know. Well, and it's never been, there's never been the judgment the other way. It's yeah. never been that the door was closed that, oh, he's a non-believer. Right. I yeah, am yeah. not going to be friends with him. We've never had that. And yeah. so it's been one of those things that you watch somebody and, you know, I certainly appreciate your perspective on things. And I have come to the conclusion that if it's good enough for fish, <laughs> it's good enough to take a look at. Take a look at. So what's interesting about that, I, I grew up with a King, King James Version Bible. Yeah. And I asked Fish because he's been reading from the Bible. And I said, what Bible do you study? Because I yeah. knew there are multiple Bibles. And, uh, and so he brought up the ASV and as to why. And so I actually had hit him up and I was like, what one was that again? And you know, he's like the ESV because I was looking it up because I was like, you know what? I closed the door for so long. It's not about whether I needed it or wanted it. I'm one of those. I try to do good, be good, help people live with integrity. And so it's, I was like, I'd like to read it. Like I never, I, even though we were religious when I was young, I never read the Bible back to front. Yeah. Now Mormons have seminary. We studied the Bible. I was 
aware of, you know, there's certain scriptures that you remember and you sure. keep, but I'd never read it back to front. And I'm at that age where uh, it's worth reading back to front. Well, you're the only person that has a Bible like this. Open it up. I'll show you something. My my special Bible. Your special Bible. So, of course, we've kept it classy. It's genuine leather. Fancy. Yeah, yeah. But, but open up to the table. To the... Not, right. not that, not that part. Not, you can read that later. He, he wrote me a message. Yeah, not that, not that. There you go. Oh, there it is. Signed by Fish. Autograph version. <laughs> I, I do feel very lucky. Thank you very much. I, hey. I asked my wife, because uh, he just says, you're presented to you by, and I'm like, should I put my name or should I put Fish? She's like, definitely put your name. And I'm like, right on i'm putting fish yeah <laughs> i didn't even know his name for like the first yeah. year we that's hung why, out that's why i put fish i was like, like what does Steven? he call you i'm like he, fish he calls me fish yeah he, she's like what always like, yeah that's it that's it that's what i do so thank you for that yeah, we'll, we'll start off there yeah, and yeah, uh yeah. and i am i i Bro, fully intend to start off starting tonight we'll start here. reading it yeah Holy i cow. need barbecue sauce mm. awesome yes oh. thank you thank you thank you man thank you Okay, now they turned them off. They did? Oh. Thank you. So, next order of business, I actually have some information. Oh, wait, I have one other thing. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I just left the bullion dealer. Oh, did you just pick up some loot? Yeah. Yes. Gold? Silver? I was like, I what bet, would I bet pirate do? I would do gold. <laughs> you show that. <laughs> Cause I'm about to get barbecued up. Yeah. We got ourselves a little uh, quarter ounce. And quarter a, and, and a, a tenth? And a tenth. But the quarter is a 1986. Oh, the first year. Yeah, 1986. It's got the Roman numerals. Probably got a tag. Okay. Sorry about that. No, no problem. problem. Yeah. So yeah, I did pick that up. I tell you what, I got the- um, Good price? Well, it's like yes and no. <laughs> I mean, the price. It's so like I'm not used to buying gold at this price. Right. So Nobody the is. the um, the tenth was two ninety two, which you can't find them online under three hundred. Hmm. Right? They're three twenty five and crazy numbers. Yeah. So two ninety two. Agreed. The uh, the quarter was seven thirteen. Okay. And I'm like seven thirteen. Um, it was only it should have been seven seventeen. I was four bucks short, and he said, "Don't worry about it." So. 730. Numbers are climbing on that stuff. Yeah. It ain't going so, lower. But that's I, for I sure. looked online and like 800 bucks is where they're at. Right. And I found a couple for at 750 at Monument, 755. I'm like, so I, I guess I actually got a decent deal. Not great. Well, Be better than anything I could get online, you know, which is why I try and buy local and support my, support my guy because he, he does good. Now, he did have um, some other stuff that he would give me at 3% over spot, all the foreign stuff. So Canadian maples, right. every, he had all of that. I just- My, my I, personal I just, I just opinion is- back to, to Evis. It's gonna go up regardless. And so whatever yeah. price you buy at, at this point in the game, yeah, yeah, give it a month, give it two months and you'll be at spot or below. <clears throat> That's kind of how I feel about it. That chimichurri sauce? So good. It's so good. The chimichurri makes that sandwich. Yeah. So, I like that buy. I think that's good. Now, today is the day of the flowing hair silver U.S. Mint oh, yeah. release uh -huh. with the 230-year privy. I'm about to rant. Go for it. Go, keep going. Well, you know what I'm about to rant about. Your rant's going to be justified, and let me tell you why. An hour after my video yesterday showing that the I'm sweating so much. the privy is in fact going for 2000 plus yeah. for that metal the one that has there's only 1796 right. with a 230 year privy it is in fact going for 2 grand plus this is so good silver wolverine and if you guys don't know silver wolverine and you like US mint stuff he's kind of the US mint guy he's made a career out of US mint videos an hour after mine, and I'm thrilled that he did this, so shout out to Silver Wolverine. He went on and he pulled out the metrics for it, and this is what answers the question. Everybody's like, how can they sell Privy Coins 
now on eBay before they've even released. Okay. Here's your answer. Yep. So there is this guy that I sold my, back when I got the S reverse proof Eagle and I sold it for 1100, there's this guy named Sean D'Souza, shout out to him. Okay. I remember. He basically, yeah, he's, I know that name. he's a name. He's a name, he does coin shows, you'll see him around. Oh, yeah. He bought mine for 1100. I had paid 64 bucks from it. It was reverse proof 2001. I don't even remember, but I think I he, met him at the fun show. He is everywhere and I I sold him mine. Now the deal is he's a broker. He yeah. sells, he has collectors that literally like get me that. Get me that. And literally there isn't even a number on it. And so he'll put his finder's fee on top of it and he'll go get it. And so there are those people that they will put ads up knowing they're going to go procure whatever it is. And, you know, something like this, they may take a chance and put one up that says it's a, you know, whatever it is. And hopefully they find one. They can go find one and make a profit. But the other answer to this question is the U.S. Mint actually does release. And I don't even know where he found it. It was on the website. But up to 10%, they reserve the right to release up to 10% of whatever their releases are early. Now, I'm mm -hmm. sure that they have a set amount of buyers. That's how they do it. That right buy there. that 10%. That's now, how they send off the coins early. That's how they send it off it. early. Yeah. So that 10%, and it says on there they pay an extra 5% ex expedite fee. I'm sure they pay more than that and they're probably locked into buying bulk, yeah. you know, big numbers because they probably don't want to deal with a bunch. So I don't know how you get to become one of those early buyers in bulk, but there is a group of them and they do legitimately get the product a week early. They do legitimately send them in to be graded. Now let me, let me tell you some stats that you're not going to love. So he also went on being the clever guy Silver Wolverine is, he went on to PCGS's site and saw that they already have imported numbers for that new metal that they have graded. So they already had, as of yesterday afternoon's video that he made, they already had some six or 700 of those graded and they were chunks. They told exactly how many had the privy. How many had the privy? There was like 40. Okay, that's not us. Right, there was like 700 it, it, coins it, it, that have been graded. In theory, there should not be over, if the U.S. Mint is honest, should not be over 176 of them now, that they released early. Because there's 1,700 and, or, or 1,776. No, there'd be 7,500, 10% of 75,000. No, but of the privy. Of the privy, correct, right? correct, so, correct. So of that, there should only, it, it, like... Like if they're releasing 10%, they here's, shouldn't release all the privies. Here's, here's what I don't like about yeah. that scenario. Because they know everybody's after the privy. Does the U.S. Mint come in and go, okay, look guys, the privies are hot. We're going to go ahead and charge you guys 500 apiece for the privy. Because we know it's going to be a, a $2,000 coin. Like it just feels like there's so much room for dirty play in that yeah. scenario. Also... How do they pick the guys that get the con that get the the pre the early buy, right? Are they just their friends and family? Are they people that they have a long term relationship with? Yeah, it's, like, it's, how's that work? But here's the rest of this: they had four hundred and like seventy were graded MS seventy, like a hundred sixty were graded MS sixty nine. That's like twenty five percent that are an MS-69. Now this is straight from the US Mint, literally going from the box to the grader, PCGS, 25% right. not perfect. That seems like a big margin. I that mean, seems like a lot of error to me. So it does if you're gonna buy it and send it off. The beauty of that is though, it makes the MS-70 more rare. So then if you have a 70, it, it actually adds value to it. Cause like, it's the same thing with, with say, uh, an old Morgan silver dollar right. that has a mintage of whatever. I'll just say it has a mintage of uh, 20 million, right? Mm -hmm. But if you have it in a 68, which is pretty much impossible, there's only like one or two of them, or a 67, there's only like, you know, maybe 100 of them or so. Right. So the rarity in the is in the grade if the grade is rare. 
if the grade is rare, right? If it so, is. If it, if it is. So, so, so more 69s into the group sucks for the person trying to send it in, but if you get a 70, it actually adds a little bit more um to your 70. A little more value. So it's, you know, can I rant? Yeah, rant. Okay. I'm gonna eat. So words <laughs> matter, right? Words matter. And you, the one thing that Pirate is not, okay? He's a lot of different things in life, right? And he'll tell you all those things. He's an eater, right? But I love food. he's not a clickbaiter. <laughs> and you said that there was somebody that said that you were clickbaiting. And I, I just, they just need to understand what the definition of clickbaiting is. Scuba the Steve, shout out to that guy. Shout out to Scuba <laughs> Steve. I got nothing against you, Scuba Steve, but I'm gonna educate you on what clickbait is. <laughs> clickbait is when you say something like, um, hey, uh, now's the time to buy silver because it's going to a, a uh, $100, right? right. And, and that's the name of your video. Buy silver now, it's going to $100. And then after the first 15 seconds of watching the video, you find out that the guy's like, if you're a loser, because that's now is actually not the time to buy silver. So he got you to right. click on the video and then he does a video about something else. Sure. You did a video that said, this coin is gonna 10X. And our, that, was the, that was the title of the video. This mm -hmm. coin will 10X, mm -hmm. right? You watched the video, you then backed up why you think it's gonna 10X and you and you made the case for it right now you could say that's outlandish you could say that that's like speculative you could say a lot of things about that video but you cannot call that clickbait when you deliver a video that is accurately represented by the title and the thumbnail that's well, not clickbait people need to understand what clickbait. don't accuse this man of clickbait yeah that don't accuse me that ain't it that's not it it's, uh, it's just so if he would have said man he's a fool there's no way it's going to do that i don't agree with that then that's his opinion but to add in that it was clickbait is just not true. I, uh, it's not true, it's not that, clickbait. Of course, if you watch my videos, yeah. you saw me address that yesterday. It right. wound up being kind of fun. I called you immediately after and ranted. Yeah, it was kind of fun because Scuba the Steve clearly thought I was clickbaiting people and uh, there was no way it could happen. So it made for a good video. I was able to say my side. I was able to actually show this yeah. stuff. No, it's good. Now, now, I did get people that were like, well, those bids are gonna get retracted. I actually don't think those bids will get retracted. We did see there was an actual sale of one that was priced $39.99. It did have a best offer, so you can speculate that he probably got two, two grand plus, I would guess. I bet he got three grand. But I, yeah. I bet he got more than yeah. two. So there was a case for what I said, and that's sure. what we showed. Now, back to it today, knowing all the information. But, one last little thing. Yeah. So, I think one of the reasons why there's a good case for this coin in the privy doing really well. I don't know if I agree that the regular ones are going are are to double. I'm not sure. They might. They may, they may carry a premium once they're all sold out. I don't know. But the privies, the, you know, for the stacker who's looking at that, they're just like, I don't get it. Right? And many stackers don't even know what that coin is or what that metal represents, the right. coin it is. So, but if you're into numismatics, you look at that coin and you drool. Or the, it's not a coin, it's a round, <clears throat> or it's, it's a metal, right? But you look at that and you're like, oh, that's an amazing design. Keep in mind, the actual coin, you're lucky to find one. Second of all, it's like two or three grand for one in bad shape. In horrible shape. Yeah. They're, they're in the millions. They're super rare. If you have a good super one, they're rare. in the millions. So, so, so the design itself, it has a real appeal to, to, to collectors, to right. coin collectors, to numismatic collectors versus these other designs they put out there that they're just modern stuff and they're not that interesting. This is modern, but it's a it's a retro to a throwback to something from the past. So right. I think I think that makes this this metal unique. And then the fact that there's only 1,776 of the privy ones, they're gonna be hard to get. And if you get one in MS70 with the privy, I mean, that's a score, that's that's gonna do well. It, and and you're, what you showed already shows that it's doing well. So I think, that for for the and you've been really good about this too like you you say hey this coin's going to do well but the u.s mint puts out a lot of coins and you don't say that about every coin no i'm i'm not yeah. a, i'm not i'm not here promoting the u.s mint yeah. uh in fact i hate a lot of what yeah. they do we boo i yeah. haven't bought anything from the u.s mint for a while yeah. now <clears throat> today knowing all that i know would i buy that coin well let me tell you exactly how this broke down if I was at home right now, yeah. I would go on my computer and buy one. Are you gambling? Absolutely. Yeah. 
truthfully, I've been trying to avoid picking up that stuff. I've got a house to build. I've got bills to pay. I've got a bunch of other things. Silver yeah. and gold are on the back burner. Had I been home, I'd have picked one up. Pick one up. And perhaps when I get home, I might just jump on and see if there's still some for sale. But I literally told Fish, I was like, hey, we're scheduled for lunch. They're yeah. doing the release tomorrow. Do you want to stay and buy the coin? Or do you want to do lunch? And he's like, well, what do you want to do? And I said, well, depending on what you do is what I'll do. Because if you want to go to lunch, I'll save my hundred bucks. We'll yeah. go do lunch and I'll skip the gamble. So that's literally how the conversation went. And, and I said, well, I'm actually going to go to my bullion dealer and buy metal. Right. So I'll save my money on the speculative and go buy some bullion. So it's certainly not for everybody. I'd have took a shot at it if right. I was home. I may yeah. still get a chance to. Uh, so I don't think anyone's out. I think this answers the question of how are people selling them, pre-selling them. Uh, we now know that up they to 10% 10 can yeah. get released yeah. on any given item. Does yeah. that make me not like them more? Yeah, that makes me not like them more. Honestly, I, I figured it was something like that anyway. Now that I know that, it does make me feel a little more some way because now my question is, ethically they would only give out 10 percent of the privy right that's, yeah that's, but yeah. we many? know that they're after money yeah, yeah so then the question becomes well did they go ahead and fudge that a little do they up the price on the privy and not just do a five percent markup knowing someone's gonna make a buck you know there's a lot of other questions and the truth of the matter is i don't trust that they wouldn't be unethical right. that that wouldn't just be business yeah, we did 10%, but we did 30% of the privies because we made more money off of them. Right. You know what I mean? And that sucks. So I'd like to not think that way, but I just don't trust them. That's my US Mint rant for today. Yeah. What do you think? Same. Um, I mean... You don't like them anyway. No, I'm not a big fan. When they went cheap on all their packaging, right. and, and they raised their prices and then, and then dropped their quality, I was like, what the heck? So I kind of stopped buying back then. Uh, which was around the 2020, 20, around the 2020 time frame is when I stopped buying. But I was on like I had um, subscriptions to four different coins since 2008. So I, right. I, you know, I was getting them in every every year, getting those in, and and they were good values. Um, and heck, back then you could buy like the the proof the proof gold, and they wouldn't change their prices even when the um, the market went up. And you can get them for good deals. I remember buying uh, the, the the five ounce silver rounds at a time where silver had gone up and they they weren't changing their are or, or they're actually coins, but uh, they're twenty five cent coins. But those five ounce silver, you know, the American Beautiful series. Um, yeah. So th there was value back then, and they put good packaging and they put everything together. I haven't really bought from them since. Um, twenty twenty also had the mint sets of the quarters that were silver. And the price of silver went up, and they were actually under spot for like a brief second, so everyone caught wind of it. There is one thing I have been buying. Though. What's that? Um, so I bought. Um, I've been buying uh, sheets of currency. So, really? Yeah. So I have like I have a full uh, fifty one one dollar currencies. I framed it. It's in it's in my office, and then I have another that I have to frame. It's uh, thirty two two dollar bills together. That I'm gonna frame. What's what's the price on those? You pay about a about a twenty percent premium. That's oh, it. Yeah, not that much, but it's all put together, and I mean it's not it, it's a sheet. <laughs> you got, I, I have food you all got over green there. under your uh, left eye. Okay, left eye. Man, sweating. Yeah. He's sweating green. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, man. I this I'm totally sweating here. All right, we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna do one question because okay. we haven't done one for a while. You pick it. Just to end this on a high note, all right, since we're not just griping about the U.S. man. <laughs> uh, these are all kinds of questions. Some are oh, landmines, some are not. Gold spot 2024. What's it going to end at? Yeah, what do you think it's going to end at? Uh, I, I think it's going to end... Oh, man. So, okay, so you got to take into consideration the election. I'll tell you right now, I'm saying 3,000. 3,000. I think it's going to hit 3,000 by the end of this year. And that's only two months away. And that is taking in, into account the election. Taking into account the election. So, man, I don't know. It's so high. I, I hope 3,000. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say like 
twenty nine fifty. Look, right, I, right in that three thousand range. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go just under three thousand. Twenty nine fifty. I actually don't hope three thousand because I still want gold. I don't know right. when I can get it, but I still want it. Yeah. We'll see how this ages. One last thing we do have, since we did mention well, the election. You remember I made my silver prediction in a, a video a while back, and you said twenty-seven fifty, and I said thirty-two fifty. Yeah. And and I'm. We're living at thirty-two right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm on track to kind of be there. I'm I'm like a dollar away. If, if we finish in that thirty-two, thirty-three range, I would have accurately predicted silver, and I will then be known as the Silver Swami. Silver Swami, <laughs> new name coming at you. Well. We do have a bet. Yeah. We did double up. Yeah, we did. The election. Four ounces. Four ounces of silver. He thinks, now, you changed the wording when we doubled up. The wording was, Trump will be inaugurated in January. Well, but, but that's because you think he's going to win, but not win. Right. And, and I think he's going to win and win. He's right. going to win on election night, and he's going to be put in office on, on, on the... the He's like Bill Burke. Um, on, on the, uh, he's going to be put in off. He's going to be inaugurated. I'm, I'm a bit deeper down the rabbit hole. So my personal belief is there's no way they let him have it this time when they didn't let him have it 2020 when right. he clearly won. Clearly. But I feel like all you did was give me a second chance because right. now we've made it to where we can go further down the rabbit hole. He gets in, gets assassinated. Right. To put the second in charge guy because right. they somehow blackmail would I, I him. What I owe you, owe you four ounces if he's assassinated? Well, I think so is there, because is, is there of an the assassination clause? because of the inaugurated scenario. You you brought in my spectrum. That's that's all I'm saying. Okay. Well, look, I don't want to put this into the universe. This isn't what I, I want. I, I'm not I'm not willing to discuss the assassination clause. I don't think we should have that on a video or, no. or talk about that. No, I so, agree. So, so I but agree. I know what you're saying. I mean, and, and it's not like we're talking about something far-fetched, right? I mean, right. this just happened. <laughs> the man should be dead. Um, and by the grace of God, he's still alive. I mean, what, he, he looked to the left or looked to the right? And, you know, I mean, that's just crazy. Well, I've said it before. So, I will happily pay the four ounces to see him in office. So yeah. I, this is a bet I genuinely hope I lose. Right. Genuinely. Yeah. Regardless of price. And, and, and what I feel is that if he if he wins the bet, then he is still a loser because he gets Kamala. So right, to make him right. feel better, I then pay him four ounces. So as a loser, he'll at least have four ounces it's, of silver. It's a loss with a right? cushion. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, so I, I'm here to cushion the blow. But but actually, I'm just here to take his silver. That's what I'm here to do. Three, I want the silver and I want Trump. I want them both. 3000 3000 on gold, 29 on 2950. 2950 on gold from fish yeah thank you guys from watching for watching yeah. uh thank you again for this yeah, yeah, yeah i'm gonna start reading tonight i'm gonna put a chapter away at night unless i yeah, you can follow along i'm so when lively read, like when with my because i'm in i'm doing uh john it's a 21 part series i'm three i i'm three chapters in all right next one will be dropping tomorrow chapter four i'm doing a chapter a day i like it all the way through i like it well i appreciate it Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show today. We got two cameras going on if you're wondering why. We always have a good time. Yeah, and uh, for us, this Dude, is this just fun. this crack was good. You haven't even taken a bite. No, I've been talking. <laughs> I've been gabbing the whole time carrying this I've thing. I've almost finished my carrot. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. That's it for today. Pirate and Fish, fish. we're out of here. Later, guys. Arg. <laughs>